So uh, <laughs> I'm Zhuang Hua, and uh, I'm currently studying at uh, the <coughs> National University of Singapore. And I come from China, so my English might not be very good. It's good so <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, and uh, okay. please forgive me if I, I did not express myself very well. And uh, so the basic idea of this talk is uh, this is my first time coming to uh, any kind of meetup and uh, no <laughs> standing on the stage <laughs> giving a talk. I'm, I, I'm, I may be a little uh, nervous. And uh, this talk is about uh, uh, the, the new uh, features and uh, performance improvements introduced in Go 1.8. And uh, I, I will try to be a little uh, in inclusive, but I will not be uh, too specific about uh, certain things. So if, our, uh, if you are interested in something, please just stop me and I will, uh, I will see if I can talk more about that. So I, I, uh, actually the, the change log is it's very long, so I, I categorize them into four sections, the language, the runtime, and the uh, standard library and toolchain. And uh, so the first part is about the language. There, there is only one uh, change made in 1.a. It's the, the conversion rules. And uh, it's quite uh, unusual because we don't have any change in, in Golang uh, since 1.5. And uh, this change actually is uh, quite uh, minor. And so previously, when you uh, do conversion from one type to another, the, these two types has to be uh, have to be strictly the same. Uh, even the 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 difference on the structured text uh, can prevent you from doing that conversion. But it's quite unnecessary and. Uh, so I am happy to see the situation is gone. <laughs> okay. And uh, there is another uh, proposal about the alias declaration, which is very popular and uh, but also very controversial. And uh, they they actually adopt this change uh, uh, at the moment, but soon enough they take it up because uh, there are some there are some grammatical ambiguity. Uh, for some corner case, and uh, but uh, and the the and the the issues are too late to be found out, so they cannot catch up with the the release of one dot a, and uh, but the proposal will uh, the proposal will change the language spec to a different alternative syntax to avoid uh, the the issues, so we'll, it will be from this form to these forms. I, I, also, we will see if uh, we can have them uh, in 1.9. And the next part is about runtime. So basically, this part, are, uh, this part is about uh, those uh, performance improvements. And uh, for me, it's quite impressive because the GC post, the most concerning one is no is go down to under one uh, <coughs> millisecond, one millisecond, and uh, the, the the compiler is generally uh, fifteen percent faster, and uh, and differ and C go are all faster. So if we uh, sorry, I didn't expect the, the the diagrams to dark. Maybe it's hard to recognize. So so in this chart, uh, after a short period of warm up, we can see the the GC pause of 1.8, uh, it's go down to 1. Uh, it's stabilized at uh, 1 millisecond, under 1 millisecond. But uh, the, the go 1.7 is still fluctuated between 2 and 4. About 2, of, two to 4 milliseconds is good enough. Because in, in 1.6 it's 40, in 1.5 it's 300. It's, it's significant. And the reason that uh, such huge improvement can happen is because uh, the the stack rescanning is eliminated, and they replace it with a uh, a new thing called a uh, hybrid write barrier, which is which combines uh, a deletion barrier and an insertion barrier. But I don't know what 
these two <laughs> names in Spanish. <laughs> anyway, it, it's really fast. And, uh, and something are even more exciting is the, and there is a improved implementation of this wrap area has been uh, merged in the dev branch. It will uh, reduce the logistic pulse to under 100 nanosecond. So standing, standing from, <laughs> standing from 1.8, they make it 10 times faster again. So it's unbelievable. But uh, there's some side effect because the the the, the right barrier uh, did uh, compromise the the throughput. So yeah, this is the trade-off. We, we we need to take it. But uh, we won't. We we can. We uh, we still can. Uh, th there's a build option which you can uh, re enable the the stat rescanning and disable the, the, the right barrier. So it's still up to you. And, uh, and uh, um, what I think is the, the most important, the, the, the most importantly, the, the, the right barrier is not just optimizing the, the runtime, but it will tremendously reduce the overall complexity of uh, garbage collection. So it, it will make the further optimization happen. And uh, oh, sorry, it's too quick. Oh, I say, yeah. So the <coughs> uh, in one dot a we will have uh, SSA support for the up platform. So SSA stands for the step single assignment. Uh, it's a very uh, popular technique used by the modern compiler and uh, and previously we don't have the SSA because uh, the, the, the Go compiler is derived from an uh, uh, old C compiler and uh, which is uh, which uh, which is born before the SSA has been invented and uh, and in 1.7 we have uh, SSA introduced into the AMD and the Intel platforms and now we have it uh, on and uh, it, so still, the, 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 so we, we are not just caring about the optimization this time. The, the, the compiler team can be more focused on a single uh, compiler backend. So yeah, we, we have a very promising future, I think. And uh, personally, I, I like to uh, take one minute to brief a little about SSA. Okay. Uh, because it's just based on a very simple idea. So SSA means uh, every uh, variable will just be assigned once. The, so we have, uh, in, in a simplest case, we have this uh, code that is not SSA, where the, the, the compiler will tra translate into, transform it into SSA form by adding a, a, a version number uh, that is uh, to identify each generation of this variable. And uh, in this case, we can see the, the first line actually is that code. Because uh, Y will uh, be overridden in the second line. But uh, it's hard to uh, recognize that for, for the compiler. And uh, so if it is in SSA form, the compiler We'll just check the ref count of y1, which definitely is zero. So it means this is a dead code. It will, not, it will never be used. So, <coughs> so the, 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 the ultimate purpose of SSA is to make, it more, make the code more machine readable, not human readable. And uh, based on that, we ha have uh, some advanced benefits listed here. And uh, yeah, that, that, that's all about SSA. And uh, this is uh, some case that the, how the, the, the compiler are uh, improved in terms of the compile speed. So for, for the Juju, for the Kubernetes uh, controller manager, and go git, we see <coughs> the, the, the time compare time is uh, 
15, it's, a, it's about 15% uh, faster. But if comparing to uh, 1.4, it's still behind. But it's because in 1.5, the, the compiler team uh, turned to use, uh, a ter they, they translate the, the old C, co C coded uh, compiler to Go code compiler and uh, to, to make Go can bootstrap itself. And this is also for the further uh, optimization. So it, the, 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 the compile time for a lot in the short term, but in, in the long term, it, it's, uh, I, I guess it will pay off and uh, catch up. And uh, faster defer, I, I don't know. <laughs> um, I think I have uh, nothing to talk about, about defer and, uh, and CGO, but just beware, they are really faster. <laughs> And uh, the next part is about the standard library. And for me, it's really uh, feature, featureful, a lot changes. So the, the first one I'd like to introduce is about the HTTP grids for shutdown. And uh, actually, it's a shame because we, there is a four-year-old ticket about having grids for shutdown. But they just, <laughs> I don't know why, but they just keep denying it. But anyway, we have it. Uh, but previously, you still can have a uh, graceful shutdown if you use a uh, third-party library. And uh, the, I guess maybe if there is a reason to have it, have graceful shutdown so late, it might be the, the <coughs> maybe they want to have context uh, in, pri uh, in prior to uh, the, the graceful shutdown. I, I, this, what I, this is my guess. So uh, in, in this example, we, show, uh, we see that uh, we, we can uh, subscribe uh, a keyboard uh, signal and uh, waiting, for, uh, <coughs> waiting for the, <coughs> the, the channel. And uh, if it came, uh, we, we will shut down the, we will gracefully shut down, gracefully shut down the, the, the web server. And, uh, and there is a timeout uh, version. So I think it's, uh, they are gonna uh, fit mm -hmm. most of situations. And uh, next is HTTP2 server push. I think HTTP2 is something really, uh, really, uh, really important. Uh, but I, I wonder how many of us have uh, no HTTP2 or, or, re or use it in your production environment. How many? Well, uh, two. <laughs> okay. <It's transparent>. <laughs> <laughs> um, I also want to take one minute to brief a little about uh, HTTP2. Uh, so in a word, uh, HTTP2 is a binary and a multiplexed protocol. So binary means it will save more bandwidth it's not text-based. And uh, multiplexed is because they reduce the, the granularity of transmission into a new word called, uh, a new terminology called uh, frame. So I will, I will uh, introduce more about, uh, with, with this uh, code example. <coughs> so, uh, so within one socket connection, we can have multiple uh, stream uh, in transmission uh, in parallel and without blocking otherwise. That's really uh, helpful. And uh, so in, in this code example, we have, uh, we have three streams. The first one is the index.html file. And uh, it have, uh, it have references to the CSS file and the image file. And uh, so usually what we, uh, how we code the, 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 the server part is just uh, uh, code the, the, the handler. And uh, the highlight part is, uh, is uh, actually what we need to do for HTTP2 server push. So we will, there is a new added uh, interface called uh, HTTP.pusher. Uh, and it has one function is push. 
So we will try to convert the, the response writer to the pusher. And if it is converted, it means the HTTP2 server push is enabled. And uh, then we will call the push function for these two streams. And uh, <coughs> the, 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 the HTTP2 server will send two frames. They are, uh, the, they are push uh, promise frames to the clients. So the clients will not try to create a new connection to request these two files. This is to proactively promise, uh, I will send you these two files. And then we, we, we set uh, the headers and uh, the, the, the content for index.html file, and uh, the, the, the server will send them in two uh, frames. So the header becomes uh, a frame in HTTP2, and uh, the content becomes uh, another frame. And the and uh, and here we have a uh, we have a specified uh, handler for the for all files uh, under the static uh, directory. So this is the right handler for these two streams, and uh, the the server will. Uh, uh, the server will pick up the, 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 the right handler and do all the rest of things. So you don't need to worry about how to uh, encode the, the HTTP2 stream. The server will do all the rest. So the extra part in HTTP2 is just that long and that straightforward. <laughs> ah, and last but not least, don't forget to turn down a TLS because HTTP2 is based on TLS. And the next thing is about TLS. 20, 20, 20, 20. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a little mouthful, but anyway, the, this, the, this suite is, uh, the, the charm of this suite is uh, because it can be um, uh, very, uh, it can be uh, uh, computed on various CPUs. Uh, it's very fast for the mobile device. So Google uh, start to use this uh, cipher suite arrangement and uh, then we, we have it in Go. It's, uh, it's <laughs> yeah, and uh, we, we, and there's some, uh, we will have a more, um, we'll have a, the, the, the function stack, um, easier to use because uh, the, 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 the runtime will automatically select, select uh, a cipher suite for you if you haven't given one uh, based on the hardware. And uh, the, the configuration uh, callback uh, functions are also very flexible this time. So yeah, you may, uh, if you are really, uh, if you really want to work on HTTP2, you may check it out. And the next part is about SQR additions. And uh, I, I will not try to be so in-depth like uh, our first talker. <laughs> but uh, there, there, there are some things you need to mention in, in 1.8 about SQL. So firstly, we will have context. So we will have cancellation. And next, we will have a, a, I have a short list, the, the, the spec. The <clears throat> Uh, we will have an interface, so the the database <coughs> can respond the, the 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 type of the, the type and its name, and we will have uh, multiple result sets support. So by calling this function, you can move on to the next uh, result set, and uh, I, I guess most of language have this in their standard library. I think, and uh, and pane. Pink can hit server. Uh, actually, in 1.7, if you first time calling the, if it is first time calling pain function, it will reach out to, to the database server. But if it is second time, it will not, because it will pick up from the pick up an existing connection from the pool, and, uh, and the the client is too lazy to check the connectivity again. So it will just simply reply uh, true, but actually 
it might be false. So this is more like a bug fix. And we will have uh, named the parameters, so it will be easier to manipulate the, the, the SQL. And we will have uh, transaction isolation support. So yeah, it may be useful sometimes. And next, we will have uh, the, the inline slice sorting. So I, I guess most of us will think the uh, coding a, a sorting function is quite painful for a typed slice. <coughs> because we have, to, uh, <coughs> we have to define an order type, and we have to implement each and every <laughs> functions, uh, len, swap, last, Especially for the first two, they are this they are really redundant and unnecessary. But in 1.8, we will have a simple we will have a helper <coughs> function called sort dot slice. We just uh, <coughs> pass it the, the, the items you want to sort, and uh, and the inline function can ref have a <coughs> a closure to to a close reference to, to, to the items. So that's much easier. <coughs> but, uh, but there is a performance cost because the, the reflect is involved. And generally, the, 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 the old sort function is uh, about one, one third faster than the new uh, slice function. But uh, whether you go with uh, speed or or convenience is up to you. It's uh, it's very good to have a uh, have more choice. And uh, next, it's about context. Con we we have context introduced uh, previously, and but but it's <laughs> but in a, in a form of a long import pass. And uh, and this time we, we can't have it uh, in a short pass. And, uh, and also, uh, there is a, a command tool provided to help you fix the, the pass. So basically, you run this command on your uh, code base. Uh, see, th there is a diff flag here. We'll try to show the, the occurrences of the long pass. And uh, the second line without the diff flag will well, overwrite. What context got in, in 1.7 only? 1.7? Maybe. It's a, we, we gradually have it for HTTP. This is the go-to fix for path. Yes, yes. Path. Yes. Path, yeah. And uh, the next part is about toolchain. And uh, the first thing about toolchain is the, 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 we have a new uh, build mode called plugin. So we can build a very uh, shared library uh, like a, a, a binary, and uh, so still we ha I I give uh, I, sh I I give a simplest example code. So here we, we define a variable called v. We define a variable uh, a function called f that says to print out the value of v, and we build it uh, <coughs> in the, the the plugin mode, and we will have a we will have a SO file, and we load it up and uh, retrieve the the variable and the function, and uh, assign to the to the variable, and we call the function. It will uh, it will print out the, the value we assign in a different. Does this work project. in Windows already? Sorry. Does this work in Windows? With what? Windows. Plugin dot DLL itself. Uh, actually, it only works for uh for only works for Unix. It's not even working for, for Mac. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's nice. I uh, sorry, I, I should, <laughs> I should uh, um, uh, have a note about that. <laughs> sorry. wonder where we release this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <coughs> and uh, the next thing is about the uh, default go pass. So uh, if, uh, if, we, uh, if we haven't uh, defined a, a go pass, in our uh, uh, environment variables, the the go pass will default to the the home directory slash go. So, I, I, I think this is uh, quite uh, sensible. 
is to adhere to the, the, the principle of least uh, astonishment. Debatable. I, oh, really? I think, <laughs> okay, okay. So we, we will have a new uh, command tool called go oh, bug. <laughs> yeah, yeah, don't laugh. It's, uh, it's, it's useful, don't laugh. <coughs> because this is, the most, uh, this is the easiest way to find a new bug. And when you run go bug on your, on your operating system, it will open, it will open the browser, uh, open the, the, the <coughs> bug report uh, web page, and uh, we'll generate template and uh, with all the system details prefilled, like the, the, the flags, uh, the operating system, the, 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 the variables, something like that. And next we will have a, <coughs> we, have a we will have a go vet. And go vet is going to be uh, smarter. Uh, I wonder how many of us previously used go vet. Oh, good, 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 really good. Okay, so go back is to examine the, the source code uh, statically, but sometimes you can find some errors that, that cannot be captured by the, the compiler. So I, I show you an example here. So anyone can tell uh, what is wrong in this code. Yeah, yes, yes, that's correct. Yes, that's correct. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's yes. So, <clears throat> we should have deferred uh, after the, 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 the new check of the error. So otherwise, if, 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 it, if the error is not near and uh, the resource, uh, if we try to close uh, the resource, it will gonna crash. So, previously, uh, the, the GoWet is not smarter enough to find this error. But this time we can. So I, I strongly recommend of us to have a uh, GoWet included in your uh, CI scripts. Okay, so that's almost all about uh, GoLang uh, 1.8. And uh, I, I, I really appreciate you st uh, stay to the last minute of <laughs> this talk. And uh, actually, I want to take uh, maybe extra 10 seconds to advertise myself. <laughs> I, uh, I come from China, and I, uh, this is my first year in Singapore. And uh, actually, I, I got some available time. So if you uh, happen to uh, look for a, a freelancer or, or interest student or <laughs> anything, I can help. <laughs> uh, please contact me uh, at this uh, email address. And, uh, sorry, <laughs> is it hard to Okay, so I, I have uploaded these uh, slides to the, to the slide share. So just, uh, you, you can find it by, by uh, search uh, what's new. You can post the link on the page. Oh, sorry? You can post the link on the page. Oh, okay, okay, I will. Yeah. Okay, definitely. So, so thank you very much. I actually have a question. Uh, please, sorry, <laughs> sorry, no please. How many of us actually are bothered by garbage collection pauses? In other words, how many of us actually use ah, languages so, in hard real-time applications? Sorry, sorry. I have a I have a story to tell. Oh. I, I I recently read a blog post about uh, uh, a machine learning platform that trying to do the optimization for their for their system because they have hundreds of millions of uh, record, yep. and the the the, the GC pod seems to be the bottleneck, oh. and uh, they they try many ways to, to tweak the program or to, to adjust the, the variables. And they barely make it uh, three times faster in terms of the GC pause. Mm. It's, it's, uh, it's good enough. But when they, but when they try to build uh, their system with Go 1.8 beta, immediately it's 10 times faster. Uh, sorry, uh, previously they are using Go uh, 1.6. So <laughs> I, I'm not trying to sugarcoat <laughs> one dot a, but yeah. but I, I I really like to suggest if you want if you have a plan for optimization, maybe the first step is to upgrade the, the version. <laughs> okay.
<laughs> okay, that's all. Sorry. No, I was just wondering how many of us are bothered by garbage collection pauses. Oh. Are you bothered by garbage collection pauses? To store your server, I guess so. How much resources does you use? CPU resources. Thank you.